All right, folks, the deck is Reno Death Rattle Hunter. The goal of the deck is to take advantage of early game death rattle minions like the eggs, as well as things like Terror Scale Stalker to proc the death rattles and nine lives to get value off of those after they've already died. And then at the top end, we do have Lore Keeper Polkel plus Dino Tamer Bran as our most expensive card. So we can pretty much draw the King Crush on command and close out the game that way. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and catch me live at twitch.tv slash raw. Watch this! Victory on death! Let the hunt begin. I want to look for... Not this. Uh, maybe I should have kept the Rexar. Rexar is decent into Pirate Warrior and then like game winning it into slower decks, but this draws me closer to Rexar, so that's fine. So this will ensure that I hit Rexar when I need him. Or hit Reno when I need him if it's Pirate Warrior, so... Hulk kilt's just Someone's really good here. Didn't even draw patches? Disappointed. It's a good draw. I don't like um, leaving pirates on board in general in this matchup and then Especially not like into a coin South Sea Captain type turn. Alright, the Polkelt's gonna be great. Uh, guarantees the Reno will be drawn on curve. So we can go Lore Keeper, Zilliax, and then eventually get to the Reno. Double patches. How can this be? Okay, I gotta take out that cannon, right? If power is what you see, knowledge is what I provide. Okay. Should be able to get two attacks out of Zilliax here, which is generally very good. So I can attack into that. That's Reno. Attack into this, then a weapon into that. Or I could... No, because that just clears it, so... Cool. Yeah, that weapon is ridiculous. We might not even need to Reno this coming turn. We might be able to get away with a Rexar. Yeah, Rexar so good. Blood and plunder. The eternal hunt has begun. Molly Mock! I give you the 100 bits. Okay. So at four, what am I looking for here? It's hero power first. Very good. I'll make it cost seven. I can get the uh, the lion on that down next turn. And we just loath up here. Play these two. No, I should have gone for something more expensive, but this is fine. Can I keep getting away with... Uh, not renoing here. It's probably better just to reno, right? I only go up to 12. They're gonna start drawing pirates because they played a Corsair Cash, so there's probably a, um, let's hear a power first. Just want cheap stuff, yeah. They're probably gonna start drawing pirates off of the, uh, the anchor.
We can give this rush once we draw the uh, the Shaw, the Owza. The Astray, thank you for the Prime. I think I just want to play the cards here. Next turn I can play these two in hero power. But we should be in a fine spot here. They, It's unlikely this gets cleared without uh, getting attacked into. Even if it does, it's like pseudo healing anyway. I mean, we're going to draw into Bran by the time... Oh my god. Oh my god, that's devastating. Oof. I needed to hit one of these two. Return to monkey. Fifteen damage coming at me. The Terror Scale Stalker, please. It's 14 damage. I think King Crush has to trade. I know it's illegal, but... Like, I could have played that much earlier and I probably would have made it more likely that I survive, but trading with King Crush just feels so bad. Okay, we're gonna give it Wind Fury now. Or we're gonna draw the, um, the Terror Scale. Ollie Mock, thank you for the 100 bits. When you trade, he becomes King Rush. Ha <laughs> ha. What could I get off of the, um... Is there anything that could get me lethal off of this? Zephyrus isn't lethal. I wonder. Go here. Look for taunt, I suppose. See what I get here. Even if we adapted into Wind Fury, it wasn't lethal, so it didn't really matter that much. Although. Like this now survives more than likely, they're gonna have to find no way to deal with that. Bran Gorfin doesn't work the way I think it does. I mean, it just doesn't do anything. It's like it only kills the board once. I will fight with honor. Let the hunt begin. All right, uh, Polkeld early is good. Oh no, maybe not. Uh, no, it gets me to Rexar, so it is pretty good. I'm gonna play this as a dude killer. Okay. I think I wanna play this still. No, uh, yeah. This is good into dudes. I can just play all three of these next turn. Who are we hitting today? Okay. 
that's not a very good turn. I give up one damage for one health on this. It's better into muster, so I'm gonna do that. There's the muster. And that means I probably have to play this now. I see a loiter blob. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, this is a really good spring bot turn, though. Oh, man. I'd feel sorry for this opponent, but I just... I don't. Opponent is having a rough go at it this game. Let me think. We just keep killing their dudes and uh, preventing their swing turns. Remember when Odd Paladin was broken? I mean, it's still a very good deck. I think it's being underplayed. They're gonna kill this now, but I think we've uh, I think we've gotten far enough ahead that uh, we can just start going face. Like it might even be time to pull out hero power and then yeah, pull out hero power, shove the brand, and win. We just um, try and avoid the second uh, righteous protector, and it should be an easy game. Reporting for duty. Second muster. Reporting for duty. Wait, why there? I don't think it matters, but... Oh, wrong card. If power is what you seek, knowledge is what I provide. Cool. Easy lethal next turn. This is exactly why Polkel is in the deck. Even if they play a Righteous Protector, it's... Um, like, we've still got enough attackers on board, or should have enough attackers on board to get through it. Paladin smash! Don't you dare concede. I need to get my crush on. Bam! I think I full mow this. This seems much better. Well, hmm. Just want to get a board lead. I go here into here. Or I could just shoot down a cannon. Or a joke. Huh? This is not a game where we're playing for value. We just need to make them dead. Did not discover Galaka. I know, what a mistake. Oh, wait, what? Okay. Um. Seasoning. Thank you for the 11 months. Hope all is well, friendo. It is. Thank you so much. Oh, good. More bombs in our deck. I love it when that happens. Sure. 
I think we can win this race. Unless we start drawing the bombs real fast. But if we draw the bombs fast enough, we can get the Reno down, so... That well, seems okay. I was kind of hoping to... get the Zilliax off of the... Um, the Diving Griffin, but... want the thing with the most attack on board. Alderus, thank you for the 11 months with Prime. Really appreciate that. Hope you're doing well. Got 10, 16, I'm one short. They must have Ga Galakrond in hand if they're just jamming another weapon there. Or they wanted to do that. No, that was already active. Oh, I did it again. I don't know. I think my camera keeps getting unplugged. I need to fix the wire. Wait, that didn't reduce damage. Just pushing damage while I can. Probably gonna cold light us here, right? Because they just need to make us draw two bombs. I am I am That's not enough damage, is it? Then they've already played both deck hands. So unless they run stone test, oh no, oh no! I didn't realize they were fully upgraded. That explains the. Uh, okay. Just dodge the bomb. Don't draw a bomb. Easy. Yeah, Your soul shall be mine. Let the hunt begin. All right, I'm gonna mulligan for discard warlock. One, two, three. Yeah. So I'm gonna keep the uh, the dust stalker. Turned our curse into our strength. Well, Zephyrus is still good in this matchup, right? I don't know how good um, the Rexar is going to be, but nice. I don't feel comfortable doing a lot of damage, but I do have the, uh, or at least not without killing the opponent, but I do have the the Zephyrus as like removal. This is not a good enough Zephyrus here. That's kind of cute. I didn't think about that as an option. Always Belcher, though. It were, Belcher is way too slow for, for us in this matchup. Like, I need to get Bran off of this and then double Bran in, on back to back turns. That's why I'm saving the coin. Even Reno Lock, I'm assuming. Um, yeah, it would be hard to fit both Swamp Ooze and the Mana Feeder into a non-Reno version of the deck, but... Okay. This is not the brand I desire. Okay. Maybe it is the brand I desire. It gives me an opportunity to high roll the, the tracker. We could get Bran and do Zephyrus and Stitch Tracker here, but I think it's more important to get the Stitch Track. Oh. Maybe the Stitch Tracker isn't more important. I mean, we still get it, but. 
Do we? No. I've got the second death. So. Seems okay. I guess the argument for the Stitch Tracker is that I would have been able to play the Bran this turn. Mukla was definitely the play, yeah. If there's one thing even Warlock hates, it's more cards in hand. I could, I could double this up and go all face. I will force out a Reno. I'm concerned they have removal though, but it's fine. We didn't get to double up the animation? What a disappointment. I don't really like giving up the hero power, but like seven damage was, six damage was kind of a lot there. Oh, that's a weak potion. <laughs> Look what I this beast will not be tamed. Bummer. I don't know what I'm saving this uh, weapon swing for. Maybe next game? I'll keep it around for next game. I had a 20 minute argument today about whether cereal is technically soup. Sounds like a good use of time. I'm really disappointed I didn't hit the brand here, but maybe I'll just draw it off the top. Chicken. I'm gonna protect the brand if I can. Isn't soup by definition warm or hot? Nah, soups can be cold. Since you won already, is there some BM plays now? Well, we haven't won already. They could have Reno and Gul'dan. You will regret this. the poisonous. Let's give myself layers of threats here. I wish the opponent would just go and die already. <laughs> it's gonna be Zephyrus into Twist, or just Twist. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is when we draw it? The one turn it wasn't going to be lethal. I Chicken. I guess this is what I've been saving this weapon for this whole game. 
Oh my god, I'm so mad. Oh no. No more Renos, please. Sure. It's not that concerning. Let's press this. Mm-hmm. So they have Hooked Reaver, Bunculus, Wrathguard, and the Demon off of Abyssal Summoner if they do find a uh, Gul'dan. Okay, that's a, that's a good raised dead card for me. Ash to ash. Your magic shall not it's fine. Not too concerned about that. Well, we do that card anyway, so sure. I don't want that getting more value. I should have done this sooner, but I didn't, so. I'm honestly just pretty tilted from the uh from the crush draw. Neo, thank you for the hundred bits. Arise, chicken! Chicken arise! <laughs> oh man. Peak Aqua Teen right there. All right, the opponent's getting dangerously low, and then killing our board. I'm assuming they just got back Reno from the uh, raised dead, and I'm gonna have a real bad time. Could just jam this next turn to kill that off if uh, if they don't develop that much more beyond this. That's the raised dead card, so easy Reno incoming. Oh. Oh, that killed them, chat. That killed them. Bam! I will fight with honor. Let the hunt begin. I want to find a two drop. I don't think I need those cards into Paladin most of the time. None will survive. This is a decent dude killer. Reporting for duty. Nothing but a bunch of big bears. I don't like how Terran ruins Vectus. Well, fortunately, I'm not running Vectus, so there's no concern about that. I need to find a better turn three than uh, yeah. I want to find that's good enough. The worth to play Reno Lock in the meta. I mean, it's a fine deck. Depends on what you're queuing into, but like, it's not. It's not top tier. So it depends on what your goal is. Well, that Zixor buff is looking mighty fine right now, isn't it? What if I coin out the Demonic Companion? I think all of them are pretty good in this spot. Just kill a dude. This prevents a second Warhorse Trainer trading into this. Because I do want to get the uh, the lion down if I can. You build Zephyr's Galakrond Reno Rogue. I probably already have. I don't know. That's just kind of like a. I don't know. It doesn't sound like that interesting of a deck. Uh, owl does not seem good here. I want to find Springpaw. This is also decent. I just need to be able to. 
like deal with dudes. I don't care about the owl. Owl is not important here. Galakron Rogue is Omega Pog. Yeah, I just I don't know. I don't really want to do Reno in that. Like you'd be better off just trying to get more consistency out of your Galakrond, right? There are more fun things I think you can do with Galakron. Sure. That's uh that's something that's happening, but we can kill that with the Zilliax. So this probably trades, right? I don't see a reason not to. We've got one card left. Yep. Never mind. We can kill their dudes. And hit a Reno, sure. Unity. Next turn is this and this. We are way ahead here. This is disgusting. Yeah. This is a situation where because I want to pop the lion... I am gonna let them have a dude here. Wait, am I? They're going into the two arms men turns. Let's take the value trade. This is fine. If they wanna if they wanna run another owl out here, I'm just okay with that. Hey, welcome, Doc. What are you hiding? Reporting for duty. Got me there, I guess. Sweet. Oh wait, this is uh, Never Surrender, right? Got an 8-8 on the board, I, um, I can afford to just like slow things down here. They can't come back when we have so few cards in hand and like their only way to swing the board back is with um... Ever joust dragon? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Their only way to swing the board back is Divine Favor. We can start going face now. Just tier up powering. This will get me uh, the bomb back. Okay. This is probably the two armsmen. No. Still haven't drawn it. <laughs> Maybe if they didn't fill up their deck with Chief Inspector and Plate Breaker. <laughs> it's Tech Odd Paladin, guys. Every oh my god, it really is. What? So it's 9, 13, 14 damage is their max. Yeah, we'll just go face here, right? Yeah, and I don't really want to pop the um, the Never Surrender here. I want to do it. Sure. I want to do it next turn because I'm getting a uh, magnetic minion down. It was a second owl this whole time? They miss sequence that? Pretty horribly. Reporting for duty. Mm -hmm. 
Whoa! <laughs> I really got some airtime. Um, speaking of missequenced, I needed to kill those off before the, uh, before the Never Surrender, but it doesn't matter. Reporting for duty. Handle it! Yeah, it almost mattered. And before mind control, mind control doesn't win them the game. Like, thank you to legendary patrons of Anonymous Toast, IGN Unknown. Fizzle Jizzix, Molly Mock, Justice Crater, Brokey, Dope Guy, Fanfix, and Tom.